What's up guys, welcome back to another edition of Unsanctioned Fabrication. We're gonna keep this a quick video, but I just picked up the Thermodynamics Professional, the Aircut 15C. Now, I was going against the Hobart 15, I'm um, sorry, the Hobart 12CI, that is also one that has a built-in air compressor. Uh, also, I, I looked in briefly at Pertherm PowerMax 30 Air, but this one I wanted specifically for 110 because you don't always have 220 in the field, and especially when I'm doing a lot of traveling and bouncing back and forth, this one also plugs into a 15 amp uh, outlet. So a 15 amp outlet is pretty much guaranteed anywhere. 20 amp outlet, yeah, it is kind of pushing to some places. But yeah, in terms of uh, just ease of use, this thing doesn't get any better. There's no knobs on here to get confused by. You turn it on, you pull that trigger, and she cuts no matter what. As long as you're within its parameters, she'll cut. But I specifically bought this for 22 gauge stainless steel. I had a customer looking to do a whole kitchen out and he had a ton of outlets, ton of holes for pipes. And more or less, I need to get those things cut fast. I didn't want to use friction wheel because friction wheel takes long. Uh, hole saws, they take a long time and you burn through a lot of them. So you make a minor investment in this, but I was able to torch these out in a matter of seconds. Simple clamp, yeah, this is nothing fancy, not heavy duty, but again, if it's it does its job now the trigger i found a little interesting instead of having a trigger on the bottom just a thumb button on top so obviously you're not going to be cutting like this it just doesn't make sense you might be able to get your whole full grip on there and just really you know go with it but it's fine enough and it is again this is a light duty machine for light duty cuts so for being a low duty cycle machine uh, you're not going to be able to cut all day long with this thing without letting it cool off. So you're going to have to cut in small intervals. And again, this is really not a big deal. Maybe they did this just to force you into being uncomfortable. <laughs> you put it down and uh, take a rest. These do not come out. They're permanently mounted in. Yeah, machine is only 29 pounds, 32 pounds, something like that. It's very lightweight, very compact. And you'll hear how quiet it is. It's actually extremely quiet. I was uh, interested in how loud it would be. Well, let's give it a go. Plug it in, flip the machine to on. I haven't even taken off the zip tie yet. So it does come with a 20 foot long lead. So that will definitely get you very far compared to some of the other ones. Now, I did a couple quick little free hands here. You saw me cut off this corner. Like I said, very minimal warping or distortion. The kerf itself is, what, a 16th wide? So it's a very thin kerf. Now, this is not a drag tip. This is actually a uh, standoff tip. So you're gonna have to maintain your distance. If you touch, it's just gonna give you a little funkiness, a little trouble. So hold your distance. You might even be able to get yourself a ruler or straight edge to ride on. So she will certainly do 8th inch stainless, but it's not pretty and it's really pushing the machine and you're not going to do it as that fast. Now don't let that deceive you. Stainless steel cuts really nasty and this is actually the, the slag built up off of cutting this thing originally with a big boy. But if this, this thing, uh, plasma does cut steel very cleanly. My final test is actually going to be to blow a couple holes in here for screws. Now instead of getting out the drill, I know this thing's gonna cut really fast and really, you know, really small. But I wanted to see what would it be like to blow a hole through a piece of 16 gauge.
As you guys got to see the back of my head, you can definitely see how fast it's cut out some quarter inch diameter holes. Now again, make slots, make holes, make whatever you want, but those actually went pretty fast. Well, I shouldn't say pretty fast, very fast. And again, very minimal warping. Guys, thanks for watching. Now, again, I know if you're looking at this, you might be considering buying uh, the Hobart or the actual uh, the Hypertherm, but the, the Hobart is a lower duty and lower duty cycle, less, less uh, amperage. I figured this one being middle of the road, I've had a thermal arc back there. Now that thermal arc I've had running heavy for the last 15 years, made by Thermal Dynamics. So again, it's a reputable company. They make great products. They're just not as known as Miller. They're not known as Hobart because the Hobart, uh, those guys are selling, you know, geez, they're selling pretty much everywhere. But again, thanks for watching, guys. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Later.